Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 has officially been announced after one year from the previous game. The trailer for one of the most selling Dragon Ball games has dropped today. By no means do I consider myself a gaming channel. Despite what my username is, I just don't cover games that much on my channel. But this is Xenoverse. I wasn't around when the original Xenoverse came out back in 2015, or at least I wasn't making videos. But with Xenoverse 2, it's gonna be my game. So with the declaration set, it is time. This is Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Universe 2. Change the future. The very first thing that we see is more of an updated Toki Toki City. This looks like it is going to be the main hub of the game, and my opinion, it's better than the original. And I know I can't be the only one that noticed this, but you can fly around the hub. That is something that so many people were asking for, and now that it's in Xenoverse 2, is a step in the right direction. Good job, Dims. Good job, Bandai Namco. Good job, Dragon Ball. The next thing that is worth mentioning is that within this trailer we see different types of characters, characters from the manga series and characters from the movies. We see guys like Turles, Lord Slug, and since those are very early movie villains, they were in Dragon Ball Z movies 3 and 4, I'm hoping we get guys like Cooler, Android 13, we're definitely going to get Broly, he was in the last game, but one guy that I absolutely want to see, Janemba, he has to be in the game, if he isn't I would be very disappointed, but that's just me. And now the final thing in terms of actual gameplay that I have to mention is the animations. If you take a look at some of these animations, compare them to Xenoverse 1, it's not even a contest. We have the scene where Trunks goes Super Saiyan for the first time. That is beautifully animated. Also when Freezer is killing Bardock, he laughs at the end. And again, beautifully animated. I don't think you could ask for anything more. Graphically though, it does look the same as the original game, but that is to be expected. Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2 and Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3, they looked very similar to each other and they were still both great games. But going back to Xenoverse 2, is anyone else getting a Dragon Ball Online vibe? I've never played Dragon Ball Online, but I've seen gameplay of it, and I know Xenoverse was inspired by Dragon Ball Online, but from what I can see, Xenoverse 2's Toki Toki City is even more reminiscent to Dragon Ball Online's overworld than Xenoverse 1, and to me that is a very good thing. I haven't played Dragon Ball Online, and if I can get as close as I can to playing it without actually playing it through Xenoverse 2, then I'll take it. Also I am loving the music they chose for the trailer. Getting to the actual text on screen. It starts off by saying, your mission. It then goes on to say, protect the history of Dragon Ball. And here is the final and most important thing, outcomes you wished were different. Hmm, I wonder what that is. We have been asking for this for so long, a Dragon Ball game where we could actually change events, because Dragon Ball is a series where if you change just one thing, an entire timeline could be ruined or it could be made better. For example, what if Vegeta was the one to kill Freezer or Namek? If we could make a decision like that in Xenoverse 2, that would literally be the best thing ever. Just think of all the possibilities. If we could personally change with our custom character to kill Vegeta back on Earth instead of sparing his life, or even something as simple as giving Beerus the goddamn pudding, there are actual endless possibilities with this game, and I am genuinely feeling good about it because we see guys like Zarbon and Dodoria. They weren't in the original game, which means we could possibly be looking at a larger roster, which I know I would personally love, and along with that, I want to see if you could make a sort of skinny Margin Boo race, because in the last game, you could only make a slightly fat boo, a medium fat boo, and a really fat boo. There was really no in between. Also I want to know can our custom characters turn Super Saiyan 3? I don't know how they would balance that out because Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 1 in the previous game were pretty overpowered. And the final thing I want to mention, probably the best part of the entire trailer in my opinion, this game has a release for 2016. Now I don't know if any of you are aware but we are getting another Dragon Ball game later this year that goes by the name of Dragon Ball Fusions. This is a game for the Nintendo 3DS. So to think we could be getting two Dragon Ball games, two highly anticipated Dragon Ball games in one year is absolutely crazy. People were saying 2015 was the year of Dragon Ball. I'm thinking 2016 is. I want to thank you all for watching and as always, I will see you in the next Dragon Ball video.